These AI models that apparently can make predictions, how useful are they? Well, there are two different uses of AI. One is, and I, I was actually there to see one of these uh, demonstrated, which is you have a mammogram done, and the AI actually, even before the, the radiologist sees it, can put a little box around areas that are, are potentially dangerous. Um, and the reason why that's important is that normal breast tissue looks white, mm -hmm. with fibrous tissue and regular breast tissue. A calcification, which can be indicative of, not always, but indicative of breast cancer, is also white. So it's like looking for a snowball on, on a snow drift. Mm. Uh, and sometimes human eyes are not as good as, as the AI at finding it. The other thing that's really interesting, and this is research, is looking uh, at uh, hundreds of thousands of mammographies, of mammograms, and somehow figuring out what's the predictive value and the early research suggests that you may be able to look at it and say, okay, this person, not now, they don't have breast cancer now, but in five years, maybe 10 wow, years, really? maybe they're going to get breast cancer. That's I think amazing. that's fascinating. Research. And uh, remind me again, when are women supposed to start getting screened? You know, the societies d differ a little bit, but I think the consensus is, is around age 40, shared decision making. So is it going to be every year, every two years? Uh, Shared decision making with your doctor. With you your doctor, talk just to, your to doc talk about what your risks are and and what your risk factors are. And uh, of course, if you have uh, very uh, dense breasts, what does that uh, even mean? Yeah, like I, I hear that all the time. Okay. Yeah. So dense breasts means um, that there's a lot more white. So what's causing it to be more dense uh, is is the presence of collagen of fibrous. Uh, connective tissue, okay. and that looks white on the mammogram. So does regular breast tissue, just the epithelial cells that like line the, the ducts that, that lead to um, milk production. Um, as women get older, there's more and more replacement by fat. Fat mm -hmm. looks uh, black. So when it's a lot of black, it's easier to see the little white dots that we talked about. Okay. But when early on, dense breasts means there's a lot of that white. Yeah. And then you can miss lesions. So they add on something else. And this gets tricky. I was talking last night with a breast expert. Is it a breast ultrasound in certain people at very high, at high risk who have very dense breasts? Maybe you want to think about an MRI okay. and some other, wow. some other types of things.